Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hoover H3W58T GGE washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances, I do specialise in vacuums, and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. This is part of Hoover's H-Wash 300 range of washing machines. This particular model is a 1500 spin and it has an eight kilogram wash load. As you can see, this is the graphite gray color, which to be honest, I really like. And as a company, we actually do really well with this color now. Uh, clearly it is available in white as well. There are also different models available with different load sizes and different spin speeds. But for the purpose of this video, this is the 1500 spin with the eight kilogram wash load. Now, something I always mention to people is when you're looking at buying any washing machine, not just this Hoover one, to look at the size and the dimensions of the, the washing machine before you buy it. Just have a measure of the space to make sure it will fit in. On this model, we are looking at, so around 60 centimetres or 23 and a half inches. That's pretty standard. And as far as the height, so you're looking around 84 and a half centimetres. Uh, or just over 33 inches. But the main things that vary on washing machines now are the depth, so front to back. And on this particular one, so if you go into the front corner here, then you're looking around 39 centimeters or just, just over 19 inches. Or if you go into the very, very front, then you're looking around 21 inches or around 53 and a half centimeters. That's something, that's one reason we seem to do well with Hoover washing machines, because they are very thin front to back. Quite a few manufacturers, especially on the large capacity machines, have gone very deep. So if you're struggling for depth, uh, or if you've got, say, pipes, water pipes, or gas pipes behind your machine, then sometimes it can be a limiting factor. But that's my tip, just have a measure of your machine beforehand. So I'll show you the machine itself now. Uh, the control dial in the middle can turn either way, it doesn't matter which way you go. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll quickly run through some of these programs. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too long going through each of them indiv individually. Uh, but first of all, this is a feature called OneTouch. Uh, now, if you've got a smartphone or tablet, which pretty much everyone has nowadays, then you've got the ability to control the washing machine from your phone or tablet. It's not just about starting your machine when you're not there. There is a lot more that you can do. Uh, and Hoover were one of the first within the market, quite a few years ago now, uh, to come up with this kind of technology. Uh, I'm not saying they were the, the first, uh, but they were one of the first to try and pioneer some of this technology. And I must say, with some customers, it does go down really well. So also you've got things like a voice coach. So it's a guide to help you choose the ideal cycle with only three voice inputs. Uh, things like the, cl the clothes or fabrics, color and the stain level. Uh, also you've got the programs. You can download and launch new washing programs. Also you've got something called Clever Care. Uh, so that's where you've got uh, like a checkup and auto hygiene cycles and also a troubleshooting guide. And also you've got the reports, so you've got the washing machine statistics and tips from a more efficient use of your washing machine. So it's things like that that can be really, really useful. Unfortunately, it's something I haven't got set up at the moment, but it's something that once you get the machine all set up and ready to go, I'd recommend using that because personally, I think it's a really good feature. But what I want to do is I'm going to uh, sort of run by some of the other programs. You will see here at the moment it's just brought that message up on the right hand side, that standby. So it's detected that I haven't done anything with the machine for a while. So within a moment the machine is actually going to turn itself off, which is a really good feature. Uh, again, it just saves the, the machine being on all the time. I'll run through some of the main programs. Uh, the first one is the cotton program. And uh, I suppose what I'd normally say is as you go around the the programs, don't assume that all of them you can put the full eight kilogram load into. Uh, there are not many actually, uh, although on this machine there's actually a, a quite a good percentage of programs that you can use as the full eight kilograms. Uh, so this is the, as I say, the comp program. This is designed to be, I suppose, one of the main washes on the washing machine. Uh, you can see on the right hand side here that you've got the lovely time remaining display. I must say, I do like the, uh, the displays that Hoover use. Uh, quite a few brands are using different colours. I suppose Hoover are normally stuck with red and it's a really easy to read display. Uh, you've got the temperature on the left hand side here and then the spin speed to the right. You can change the temperatures if you want to. So especially as you go into the cotton programmes, you can go from the full 90 degrees, 60, 
40, 30, 20, and then even a no temperature option. So that will just wash in the temperature of the water that's arriving into the machine. Also, you can change the spin speed if you want to. So then it goes down to 400 and even a no spin option. And it can make a difference to the wash time if you were to select a different spin speed as well. Uh, and sometimes, depending on the program, although on this one it doesn't make a difference, it can make a difference on the time of the program. And the next program on here is the Eco 40 to 60. Uh, again, you can wash the full eight kilograms on this machine. Uh, you will find it is, again, quite a, a long wash on here. Uh, you do have the option on certain washes, not on this particular wash, where you can actually change the wash time on it. So let me just show you, if I go, go back to the cotton program, uh, you've got the different stain levels that you can select. So a standard on the cotton program, it will be at 2 hours 48. If you press that button there, then it actually reduces the wash time. And that, I suppose, is saying to the machine that the clothes you're washing are not that dirty. Then what it will do is ju just reduces the time for you. And then level two be at two hours 10. And then level three, that's saying that it's quite, you've, you've got quite a heavy wash. And then as we carry on, you've got things like the 20 degree wash. So that's a, just a low temperature wash, which I must say, people are washing at lower temperatures now. So it's good that Hoover put a dedicated low temperature wash on here. Uh, and again, you can wash with a full eight kilograms. Uh, as you come around here, so you've got the mixed load. That one is a smaller load, so it's only a maximum of four kilograms. Then you've got the drain and spin, the rinse, uh, things like wool and hand wash. Uh, again, you can only wash at the lower temperatures on this one. So even if you were to try and change the, the temperature on here, then the maximum you can go to is 30 degrees. Uh, you've got some specialised programs around here. So things like delicate, sports, uh, then the dark colours. And this is where you come into what they call the care section. So this is a, an allergy care 60 degrees. And the idea of this is if you've got somebody in the household with, say, sensitive skin, then that could be a really good program to use because what it will do is it will get up to temperature quickly and then it will maintain the temperature for a longer period than on some of the standard programs. And that just really helps to try and kill any of the bugs that may be within the clothes or may affect you. Uh, as you come around here, you've got the rapid care. So this is the 14, 30 and 44 minute programs. And these are really designed as really quick programs, like freshen up programs. Uh, you wouldn't expect to get a full wash out of them. Uh, and I suppose that's really why they're really quick programs. And to change that, you just press this button. So you've got 14, 30, and then 44 minute programs. Uh, and with these, so you can't do a full load with these. You've got one and a half kilograms on the 14 minute program. On the next program, you're looking at two and a half kilograms. And then on the 44 minute program, that's the maximum of three and a half kilograms. You will find if you were to put a much bigger load in, so for example, if you selected 44 minutes, and then if you put a full load of eight kilograms in, it's not gonna help the situation. I know some people think, well, I'm gonna trick the machine, but it's not gonna be the case, it's not gonna work. All that will happen is it will really, really extend the wash time. Uh, so it'll still wash the clothes, uh, but you'll just find that rather than 44 minutes, it will just keep going, and it could go into a couple of hours to do the wash. Uh, then the next program on here is the Cotton Care 59. And with that one, again, it's a maximum of four kilograms. So I've pretty much covered most of these. Uh, so you've got the temperature, spin speed, uh, the stain level. Uh, you've also got a time delay option on here. So if you wanted to have it on, uh, if you wanted to delay the start of the program by say four hours, then just select that. Uh, you've also got the start and the pause button on the right hand side here. So when you're ready to start the machine, just press that. And then the final button to show you is just here. And what this does is actually three different options all in one. Uh, the first one is the extra rinse. So that just adds extra rinse water into the program. Uh, that, again, that's really good if you've got allergy sufferers. Uh, the next one on here is the Hygiene Plus. And that, what that will do is that will actually, and it's, the reason it's gone out is because it's not available on all programs. Uh, but the Hygiene Plus, uh, that's when you set 60 degree temperature. And again, it will maintain that temperature for a much longer period to try and kill the bugs uh, within the clothes. And then the final one on here is the Easy Iron option. Again, that's only available on certain programs. Uh, but what they will do is just, just helps to minimize the creasing that you can get within the clothes. 
it's quite a standard soap drawer. You just got the main wash, pre-wash and conditioner in here. Uh, you do have the option to pull the soap drawer out. So if you wanted to clean it, then it's nice to have that facility. When it comes to opening the door, you've got the handle on the right hand side there. Uh, really easy. I must say this is one of the easiest doors to open out of all the washing machines we sell. Uh, that's Again, that's part of the reason that some people like the machines. Uh, quite a good size porthole, so it just makes the clothes, get, getting the clothes in and out nice and easy. Just show you the energy label on the machine. As you can see, it's a D energy rating. Don't be put off by some of the lower letters. Uh, you will find that the energy efficiency on these are still pretty good, especially if you're comparing them to other machines in a similar price bracket. Uh, and then it's got the things like the 44 litres of water, uh, just proving that it's an eight kilogram on this machine. I'll just quickly show you around the back of the machine. Uh, first of all, you've got the transit bolts and you've got the four transit bolts in this machine. These are absolutely imperative to take out. Uh, you have to take them out. If you don't, then it will more than likely damage the machine and that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. Uh, you've got the mains at the top left here. You've got the water pipe at the top right. I will just show you didn't take it out of the bag, but you do get a new hose with it. It is normally recommended to use the hose that comes with it. Uh, you don't have to, but at least try and use the new washers that come in there. Uh, and then you've got the waste hose at the bottom right. If you are thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hoover H3W58T GGE washing machine. Honestly, some of these model numbers, they get worse. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of takes to remember some of these. So I've done really well this time because this is the first take of this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions on the machine, then I've got it on display. Uh, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you've got a Hoover washing machine, uh, it doesn't have to be this model. If you've got a Hoover washing machine, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.